Hello everyone, so welcome back to our design pattern series. Today we are diving into the builder design pattern in Java. This pattern is particularly useful when dealing with a complex object that required a lot of configuration. So let's see. So what is exactly the design builder design pattern? The builder pattern is a creational pattern that provides a way to construct an object that is a complex object step by step. It separates the construction of a complex object from its representation so that the same construction object can create a different representation. Imagine you are ordering a custom pizza. Instead of directly ordering a ready-made pizza, you specify each part of the pizza you want. The crust, the sauce, the topping, etc. The builder pattern allows you to build such objects step by step, just like you are building a pizza. So why use a builder design pattern? The pattern, the builder pattern is particularly useful when an object has a multiple attributes and the same or uh, some objects are optional and some are uh, required. Instead of having a large constructor with a many parameter or a multiple overloaded constructor, the builder pattern lets you create an object in a more readable and maintainable way. Now let's think about the implementing the builder design pattern. Let's go through an example to see how builder pattern works in Java. Suppose we have a pizza class with attributes like size, cheese, uh, pepperoni, and bacon. We want to build a pizza step by step. So what I will do is simply I have a builder package and I will create a Java class. And I will simply say pizza. Okay. And it has say um, private final uh, string size. Private file million cheese and then um, pepperoni and then back on. Okay, let's create a constructor for the same. Um, yeah, so we do have a constructor and then um, I would say pizza builder. Okay, and then uh, we'll create a simple uh, inner static class like uh, public static class pizza builder. Okay, and now what we'll do is simply already had created. So here, what we are doing, let me. We are defining the same um, attribute where what we have already in the main class and then uh, for each and every attribute we are if we are comparing with the main class then uh, the main 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 pizza class has the final field size is pepperoni and bacon the constructor is private um, taking a pizza builder as an argument you can say that and then um, we have a pizza builder inner class that is a static inner class and that contains uh, the same field as the pizza class and has a required size parameter in the constructor. You can see that. Okay, so no other uh, uh, fields are there as a first. First one is the size. And then uh, we have a build up method that is add cheese, as pepperoni, as bacon uh, methods that allow the setting these options. So each returns this that is a builder object for method chaining. Then you have a final build method. And that creates and returns a new pizza object using the current builder state. All right. So in this way, the builder pattern um, allows the creation of a pizza with a different combination of the topping easily. It's more readable than using the constructor with many parameters. Say, for example, if you have so many here, we have only four parameters. But if, say, for example, four rather than four attributes, if in a real world example, if you have a hundred. Uh, attributes then you cannot create a hundred um, uh, a constructor with a hundred attributes and also there are chances there are not all the hundreds are um, required attributes say for example you have a 30 required attributes and then you have only say for example five required attributes and seven uh, 95 optional attributes then it will be a problem so again as I mentioned that it is also properly readable and it is also enables the immutability of the pizza objects once it is created. Now let us uh, create a main method in the same class. So pizza uh, builder pattern demo and you have the main method 
and if you can see pizza pizza equal to new pizza dot pizza builder and then we are starting with the large then we just put uh, the boolean value whether you want cheese yes true pepperoni true I can true and just do a build it's a more concise and readable way let's run it right let's add the two string method over here and let's rerun the example now you can see our pizza with a large size cheese true what if I want I do not want this part and if I run it okay just a sec so you can see the bacon is false and rest of the attributes are true and then our size is uh, is a large one all right so now let us write a test cases for the same so in the test if I simply say create a new package and instead of the single turn I'll make it a builder and here I just uh, create or oh, simply I, I can even ask here to generate the test and let's create the test okay so now we already have that pizza test so what we can do is some simply first of all uh, let's add the test one and then void taste pizza creation with the all ingredients yeah so we have an assert equal to pizza this and two string equal large or we can even um, simply say or assert equals um i would simply say large pizza get size let's create a getters method because we want it to be immutable so we will only have a getter method okay and now we can see this okay and then we can do a, a separate uh, assert true Okay. and this uh, has cheese okay. and let's try to run and our test case is executed so in the same way um, I can create some optional uh, test cases and here also I can put the same thing And if I run it's working because we have not put any sort of uh, these three ingredients all right so this way we can write another test case let's check the immutability of the test case and here I can put as is this okay. and and let's try to run this uh, and our test cases are executed properly so let's try to run all the test cases all right so for immutability test uh, what we have done is we are using the java reflection api uh, to simulate the attempt to modify the final fields and uh, this will like to um, likely to throw an exception which is what we expect for an immutable object all right 
so that's a pretty much for builder pattern thanks for watching see you in the next video